Scott, you're reporting. Mike Scott, you're reporting at the unbelievable Women's Day Parade, New York City. Woo! Women. Wow, so many women. So little time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it. My drum set out. <laughs> Some funny signs. Let's see if I can get a few of them. All right, man. Hey, what are you guys marching for today? Ourselves, everybody. Sounds good, man. What's your sign say? Cool. Not very personable. Marching for Brazil. Not gonna last too long here. Loud drum. Fold out here. sign it says fight like a girl I see you son fight like a girl it's a nice sign thank you uh, well, what are you out here for uh, for women's rights for a change in government for making a statement thank you very much Wow, there's a whole army of drums. Lock him up. <laughs> A lot of politics, eh? You don't want to see him locked up. Impeach them. <laughs> That's a good sign over there. It says, "Impeach the motherfucker, pussy grabber." Lock him up! 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 Really good signs. I hope you guys are catching them. I like the Supreme Court sign, all women. <laughs> Here, 
Those drums can't get fur far enough away. Too soon. Switch arms. Lock him up. Pussy power. <laughs> Intimidating. Plenty of politics. We're not short on politics. <laughs> you know why they're booing? For Trump. Right in front of Trump's hotel. Donald Trump has got to go. Donald Trump has got to go. I still can't figure out what Trump has to do with any of this. It's fun to be here. I like the ratio of women. Selling, selling pussy hats in front of Trump's place. Double helix is stronger than the wall. I love it. What? It's a good, it's a good sign. Yeah. The double helix is <laughs> bigger, big, bigger than the wall, right? Yeah, it's stronger than the wall. Yeah, man. You know, for the wall, you don't want a wall. <laughs> no, poor, poor children will try and reunite all the time with their relatives, their parents, and there's nothing that's going to stop them. So. You're going to keep the drugs out with a wall? No, no way, no way. How, how do they, they get we, the drugs out? have to think of children and and protect their rights they are just half people and they're running their feet off and their hearts out thank you so lock them up you lock them up lock them up lock them up i'm way outnumbered here I'm on my best behavior. <laughs> Again, I'll catch a ball kick from behind.
Lots of women. I'm gonna pretend I'm gay. Oh, how so I love your fucking hat. Woo! Safer. Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. Ooh. Ah, American flag. We're still in America. Democracy looks like freedom of speech. Still a great country, you know. Even if you're dead wrong, <laughs> protests, protests, you could help the opposition, divide the men and the women, separate them. That's what I see. I see separation. Coming down 6th Avenue, by the way. Avenue of the Americas. I think it ends in, in uh, Times Square. I'm not sure. I'm not going to make it all the way down there. <laughs> it's peace, peaceful. No kicking and scratching. I haven't been called a, you know, a, a dick or a, you know. <laughs> it's a non-stop lock them up. Half of these women are undesirable anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fascism cannot be cannot be voted out. The people must drive it out. They really believe Trump's a fascist. Crazy. That's good. That's good. New York Times said so. Peaceful, quiet. Called, called willful idiots. Like sheep's the slaughter. Pigs. No wall! 
no wall, no wall, no wall, no wall, no wall, no wall. You don't want a wall? I think I see a sign. It's a cool sign. Oh, I can't get it to. Whoa, there he is. Mr. President. Handsome, handsome fella. Yeah, man. What's the sign? Proof that white people need help voting. Okay, I'm a white people. So am I. As a group, we didn't do very well. Uh, I know. I voted for Bernie Sanders. How about you? I voted for Hillary Clinton. She couldn't win, though. She cheated. Um, I really don't think she did. You don't think she did? You don't think she lied six times to Congress and uh, committed felonies? No, she didn't. That's nonsense. But whatever. Have a good day, man. <laughs> gotta believe. Gotta believe. Who's your candidate Hi. this year? My candidate? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's this year. It's not, uh, it's not election season. 2020. I don't know yet. It's too, early. it's too early to say. I don't think anybody could beat Trump at this point. I would probably... Kamala Harris, maybe? Never. No way. She, she won't win. First of all, she's a corporatist. Uh, you like her? I do. What do you like about her? Um, well, I like that she's a strong black woman, number one. Number two, she gets things done. She asks the right questions. She's a feminist. What has she gotten done? What has she gotten done? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I, she's pretty you good. You brought it up. As far as, no, but it's pretty good as far as on committees. She asks the right questions, I said. Yeah, I mean, it's too early to tell. I think that's throwing up. I think, by my opinion, you want my opinion? Yeah. I think, she, you know, Biden and, and Kamala Harris and Beto, they're, they're what's uh, known as the so shit, what, you're, you're the shit sandwich. Sanderson? I, I, yeah, it's 2016. Bernie now is a different Bernie. I, you know, Bernie, who, who, who the hell knows? You know, but we shall see. Can they beat Trump? That's the point, right? Yeah, well, yeah, anyone who can beat Trump, I guess, at this point. But hopefully we don't have to worry. Hopefully he's out. Good talking to you. Thank you. Camilla Harris. That's a shit sandwich. <laughs> That's a good one. Year of the Pig. Cavanaugh. <laughs> like I see you posting. Oh, that's pretty good. My pussy power. Woo! What's up? This is a great sign. You painted that? Yeah, I painted this last awesome. night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good stuff, man. Thank you. So you got anything to cut out? <laughs> Phallic. Year of the pig. Cavanaugh. That's a good one. Jesus was a liberal. Excuse me. Was he? I think so. Yeah, probably, right? Have you read the New Testament? Um, maybe when I was 15 or so. <laughs> he was a liberal. A liberal radical at that. Wasn't he a Hindu? I thought he was an Indian. Didn't he, was he come Jewish. from India? He was Jewish. Are you enjoying yourself? You having a good time? I am, thank you. Jesus was a Jew. You heard? Huh. That's a good one. Elect women for the next thousand years. It's all about women. noise goes right through you. You don't realize how loud it is until you're standing next to it. Yes. 
time to put women in the Constitution. Fighting for rights, they already have. That gun. Gays against guns. Gays have a gays have a seat at the table at the at the women's parade. Where's the men? I mean the re the real men, not the Gillette men. Now, this is some weird shit right here. White hoods. Scotty, beat me up. There's no, <laughs> there's no thoughtful life on this planet. He's with her. He's with all of them. Let this train wreck go by. the wall around Trump. <laughs> Man, they hate this president. 
Well, it's okay. Sure. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This one says it all right here. Oh, they got Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> That's Nancy Pelosi up there. Nancy Pelosi in the house. Women with poles. All right, so my battery is getting low. So, Marcus Conti reporting from the Women's Day Parade up here in Manhattan, New York. About uh, I don't know how many how many women there are. There's a whole lot of women marching. A lot of politics. Festive event. Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> 